Hi, I'm Mel. I'm Marissa. And today we're here to talk to you about residential fire alarm systems. So before we start anything, I'm just going to throw a few statistics at you. Um, in Toronto alone, 53% of the fires that occurred in 2018 were actually residential fires. 25% was cooking, 20% was smoking or open flame tools, 8% was electrical fires, which in result would be overloading a outlet. That 25% is equivalent to 242 fires. The 20% is 193 fires, and that 8% is 75 fires. Okay, so a common thought that most people have is, it won't happen to me. This can't happen to me, there's no way. In Toronto, in 2017, from 2018, there was a 9.3% of incident increase. As part of our research, I was able to contact uh, Ken Corvo, who is the fire prevention officer for Lemon Fire Department. And he was able to tell us that despite our best efforts, sadly I would have to estimate that only about 50% of the homes are visit assistance are fully compliant and properly protected. Those uh, those 50% of the homes in Midland um, are, are fully protected uh, and the devices meet all the code standards. So prevention is actually the first two lines of defense. Your first line would be public education. Uh, if we can educate and prevent a fire from happening in the first place, then it makes the other two lines less likely or not as important to happen. The second line, inspections and enforcement. We have to make sure that people are properly protected and that the required systems are being maintained if the first line should break down. The third line, fire suppression, the big red trucks is when the first two lines are ineffective and we have to resort to putting the wet stuff on the red stuff. It's hard to tell just how many lives we've actually saved because of the prevention that's put in place. There's no honor or glory in putting firefighters' lives at risk to fight fires that should have and could have been prevented in the first place. The main purpose of why we are here to present this today is of smoke alerts. It is not just to alert you of a fire, but more importantly, the smoke itself. What most people don't know is that the leading cause of death in those residential fires are actually smoke inhalation, as well as the toxic gases that are produced, rather than the burns from the actual fires themselves. Uh, so then to kind of go along with that, why they're so important, is that uh, it really is a life and death situation. Uh, so the fire alarm system can uh, protect the stones of someone and the family as well as the property. Um, so by having a fire alarm system, uh, it allows the residents or the occupant to, to be warned at the early stage of fire when the smoke and heat uh, does get detected. Uh, and then this allows them to be evacuated as much as possible. Some advantages of actually having smoke alarms in your house um, is that the device usage is actually flexible. Um, the type of device is flexible whether you want to use a photoelectric or an ionization. Um, the company manufacturer can vary the customer's wants and needs. Your family and home are protected, to reiterate what Marissa had said earlier. You and your family will be able to hear the alarm in the main parts of your living space. For example, you need, in a two-story house, you need one on every floor, one in every sleeping room, and one outside of the sleeping room. So essentially, you'd have five if you had one child. You are able to add more if you feel it is necessary. It's not costly. All smoke alarms are reasonably priced and are available from a local hardware store such as a Home Depot or a Lowe's. Installation can be an easy process, especially if you're a standalone home alarm. Right on the bottom of the device, you can two-side tape it right to the ceiling, or there is drill holes that you can drill it right to the studs. On the flip side, there are some disadvantages, not a lot, but there are some. So one of them is that prevention education isn't common knowledge. So like Mel said before, there are some areas within the home or in the suite that you have to have smoke alarms like in the bedroom, outside the bedrooms, as well as every floor if there are multiple floors. And all these location requirements are mandated by the Ontario Building Code uh, and the UOC standards. OBC actually stands for Ontario Building Code. And the UOC is Underwriters Laboratory of Canada. Another disadvantage is that if the installation is not done properly and or the maintenance isn't uh, kept, Charges and fines can be issued by the uh, by the authority having jurisdiction. Um, so the companies who do the installation, who do the testing, if they aren't doing their job correctly, uh, they can be fined. As well as residents, uh, they, uh, they can also be 
charged if the devices aren't there um, and if there's any damage to the devices, such as if you paint them or move them, vandalize essentially. Yeah. And the, uh, the, the, the third one that we have is uh, they do require maintenance. A lot of these uh, systems run, run on batteries. As we all know, batteries only have a certain lifespan. So they require to be checked and uh, changed uh, quite quite often. And there's also some devices such as uh, heat detectors that do require to be replaced um, after they are used. So it's a one year system and then you put a brand new detector afterwards. The last one we have is a lot of newer systems are computer based. Um, there's a possibility of not functioning just like any a computer system. So these systems don't use electricity. Uh, they use a special communication between the main panel uh, and the, the devices out in the field, such as smoke detector, heat detector, or anything else. And so any type of fault that there's an open circuit, so old, so a wire gets cut or a short circuit, uh, it could take out a whole zone or section or a for the entire system. Essentially, stop it before it starts. On our infographic here, we have a link if you need more information for fire safety and fire prevention tips. Um, it is hosted by the City of Toronto, which is located at the bottom, as well as our station.